CorelDRAW 9 improves its internet publishing features. Now, users can publish CorelDRAW documents in various HTML layouts. We will focus on the first layout method available in CorelDRAW 9, HTML tables. HTML tables have been around since Netscape Navigator 2. Ever since then, tables have played a big part in adding form to web pages. Using this layout method ensures that a majority of people will be able to view your web page with most web browsers. Let's take our fictional company, Dolphin 2000, as an example. Here, we have created two pages which will serve as the splash and introduction page. What we want to do here is allow the user to click on the Dolphin image to proceed to the second page. Here, we have grouped the center area as one. This will simplify the process. With your pick tool, select the center. In order to view the internet properties of the group, we need to view the object properties docker window. Click on edit properties from your menu bar. Click on the last tab the one labeled Internet. The first field allows you to enter any valid URL or web address. The second field allows you to bookmark the other section of your document. Very useful when navigating in a multi-page document. In the Location drop box, scroll down and select Top of Page 2. We have already entered other URLs, so you might not have the exact list. However, you will always have a selection for each page of your document. Next to the Apply button, we see a session called Link Extent. Select the radio button labeled Use Object Shape. Click Apply. Next, we switch to page 2 of our document. The second page looks like a standard web page that highlights each section of our website. With your Pick tool, Select the text object, Home. We repeat the steps for the previous page, but we choose top of page 1 for our location. Once we are ready to publish our document, we go to File, Publish to Internet. From here, we have some options to choose. First, we need to determine the path where the HTML source code will be placed. Next, we want to specify a location to place the images. Here we have a choice of calling the image folder the same name as the HTML source file, or any name we choose. Here we have chosen the checkbox where the HTML file name is the same as the folder. Finally, we choose the type of HTML layout we want to use. We choose the first method, HTML tables. Click Next. The next step is to determine the image format. Here, we simply choose the JPEG format. The following two options concern color palette and size. With both checked, we are sure that the image size and color palette used will be viewable by most web surfers. Click Next. The last screen of our export gives us a chance to rename each page as a valid HTML document and to include a title to each page. Click Finish. Once completed, simply use your web browser and open the corresponding HTML file as you hover your pointer over the text objects. You should see that the URLs we've included are present and valid.